നമസ്തെ വെൽക്കം ടു ചാപ്റ്റർ ത്രീ മെറ്റൽസ് ആൻഡ് നോൺ മെറ്റൽസ് ഫിസിക്കൽ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് ഓഫ് മെറ്റൽസ് മെറ്റൽസ് ആർ സോളിഡ്സ് എക്സെപ്റ്റ് മെർക്കുറി മെറ്റൽസ് ആർ ഹാർഡ് എക്സെപ്റ്റ് ലിത്തിയം പൊട്ടാഷ്യം സോഡിയം മെറ്റൽസ് ഹാവ് മെറ്റാലിക് ലെസ്റ്റർ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഷൈനി മെറ്റൽസ് ആർ വാല്യുബിൾ ക്യാൻ ബി ബീറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ തിൻ ഷീൽസ് ഗോൾഡ് ഇസ് എൻ എക്സാമ്പിൾ metals are ductile can be drawn into wires copper wires is an example metals have high melting points gallium and cesium have low melting points they melt in the palm of the hand metals have high boiling points metals are good conductors of heat best conductors are silver and copper poor conductors are lead and mercury metals are good conductors of electricity best conductor is silver also copper metals are sonorous they produce sound when beaten physical properties of non metals non metals may be solids liquids or gases solids are carbon sulfur phosphorus etc liquid bromine gases are oxygen hydrogen nitrogen etc non metals are soft except diamond which is the hardest natural substance non metals do not have luster except iron crystals they are lustrous non metals are not malleable non metals are not ductile non metals which are solids and liquids have low melting point non metals which are solids and liquids have low boiling point non metals are bad conductors of heat non metals are bad conductors of electricity except graphite which is a non metal also a conductor non metals are not sonorous chemical properties of metals first one reaction with oxygen metals react with oxygen to form metal oxides when copper is heated it combines with oxygen to form copper oxide 2Cu plus O2 gives 2CuO. When aluminium is heated, it combines with oxygen to form aluminium oxide. 4Al plus 3O2 gives 2Al2O3. Some metal oxides are basic oxides because they react with water to form bases. For example, 4Na plus O2 gives 2Na2O. Na2O plus H2O gives 2NaOH. Next one, K plus O2 gives, that is potassium plus oxygen, K2O and K2O plus water gives 2KOH, potassium hydroxide. Some metal oxides show acidic and basic properties. They are called amphoteric oxides, example aluminium oxides, zinc oxide, etc. Al2O3 plus 6 HCl gives 2AlCl3 plus 3H2O, that is Al2O3 is a basic substance. It gives a salt. and water when combines with the acid next one l2o3 plus naoh here l2o3 is an acidic substance it gives nalo2 sodium aluminate it's a salt along with water when react with the naoh which is a base so amphoteric oxides are the oxides which behaves both like a base and an acid The reactivity of different metals with oxygen is different. Metals like potassium and sodium react vigorously with oxygen and catch fire if kept in normal. Hence they are stored in kerosene to prevent burning. If magnesium is heated, it burns with a bright flame. If iron is heated, it glows brightly. If copper is heated, it does not burn but forms a black coating of copper oxide. Silver and gold does not react with oxygen even at high temperature. Some metals like magnesium, aluminium, zinc, lead, etc. forms an oxide layer over it which prevents further oxidation. They are called self-protecting metals. Reaction with water. Metals react with water to form metal oxides or metal hydroxides and hydrogen. 2 sodium plus 2 molecule of water gives two molecules of NaOH plus hydrogen 2 Na plus 2 H2O gives 2 NaOH plus H2 next one 
two potassium molecules plus water we use two potassium hydroxide molecules plus hydrogen 2k plus h2o gives 2k or h plus h2 the reactivity of different metals with water is different sodium and potassium react violently with cold water to form sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide respectively along with the hydrogen which catches fire calcium reacts less violently with water to form calcium hydroxide and water and does not catch fire magnesium reacts only with hot water to form magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen metals like aluminum iron and zinc react only with steam to form the metal oxides and hydrogen metals like lead copper silver and gold do not react with water reaction with acids metals react with dilute acids to form salt and hydrogen example magnesium plus two molecule of hcl gives magnesium chloride plus hydrogen mg plus two hcl gives mgcl2 plus h2 the reactivity varies from metal to metal for the above metals the decreasing order of reactivity is mg al zinc and iron copper silver and gold do not react with dilute hcl hydrogen gas is not evolved when metals react with the nitric acid hno3 because it is a strong oxidizing agent and it oxidizes the h2 produced to water and is itself produced to oxides of nitrogen 3 cu plus 8 hno3 gives 3 cu no3 twice plus 4 h2o plus 2 no2 reaction of metals with metal salt solution a more reactive metal displaces a less reactive metal from its salt solution that is displacement reaction magnesium displaces copper from copper sulfate solution iron displaces copper from copper sulfate solution are some of the examples reactivity series of metals The arranging of metals in the decreasing order of their reactivity is called reactivity series of metals. Here it is given: potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium. They are most reactive. There is aluminium, zinc, iron, lead, hydrogen, copper, mercury, silver, and gold. The last one: copper, mercury, silver, and gold are least reactive in nature. The others are most reactive. How do metals and non-metals react? Metals lose electron and become positive ion, so they are called electropositive elements. Example: the atomic number of sodium is 11. Its electronic configuration is 2,8,1. It has one valence electron. It loses one electron and forms a sodium ion, Na+. Na becomes Na+ by leaving. One of the electrons at the outermost shell. Whereas in the case of magnesium, the configuration is 2, 8, 2. The atomic number is 12, and magnesium gives away or loses two of its electrons and gains two plus charge. The two plus charge that means magnesium two plus. Non-metals gain electron and become negative ion, so they are called electro-negative elements. Example: The atomic number of chlorine is 17. Its electronic configuration is 2,8,7. It has seven valence. It gains one electron and forms a chloride ion Cl minus with its charge. Formation of sodium chloride molecule NaCl. Na plus Cl gives NaCl. The atomic number of sodium is 11. Its electronic configuration is 2,8,1. It has one valence electron. It loses it to form Na plus ion. The atomic number of chlorine is 17. Its electronic configuration is 2,8,7. It has seven valence electrons and it gains one electron to form chloride ion, Cl minus ion. Then the attraction between the Na plus ion and the Cl minus ion results. formation of sodium chloride molecule sodium will give one electron to 
chloride, that is chloride that forms chloride ion. Formation of magnesium chloride molecule MgCl2. The atomic number of magnesium is 12. Its electronic configuration is 2, 8, 2. It has two valence electrons. It loses two electrons to form Mg2 plus. And the atomic number of chlorine is 17. It has electronic configuration 2, 8,7. It has seven valence electrons. It gains one electron to form Cl minus chloride ion. And the attraction between Mg2 plus ion and two molecules of chloride ions results in the formation of magnesium chloride molecule MgCl2. The picture on the screen. Ionic compounds or electrovalent compounds. Ionic compounds are compounds formed by the transfer of electrons from a metal to a non-metal. And the properties of ionic compounds are they are formed by the transfer of electrons and are made up of ions. They are crystalline solids. They have high melting points and boiling points. They are soluble in water but insoluble in organic solvents like petrol, kerosene, etc. They conduct electricity in molten state or in solution. Occurrence of metals. Some metals like gold, silver, platinum, etc. are found in the free state in the earth's crust because they are least reactive. Most metals are found as oxides, carbonates, sulfides, halides, etc. Minerals. Minerals are elements or compounds which occur naturally inside the earth's crust. Ore. Ore is a mineral from which metals can be extracted profitably. Gang. Gang is the impurities present in the ore like rock particles, sand particles, clay particles, etc. Extraction of metals from their ores. Metals are extracted from their ores in three main steps. They are concentration of the ore, enrichment of the ore, reduction to the metal, refining and the purification of the metal. Concentration of the ore is the removal of gangu or impurities from the ore by different methods. Here is a flowchart of steps involved with the extraction of the metals from their ores. First one metals of high reactivity, their electrolysis of molten ore happens and it gives pure metal. Metals of medium reactivity, carbonate ore, they undergo cancellation and sulfide ore undergo frosting. And both use oxide of metal and the oxides are reduced, that is reduction of oxides to metal, then refined. Metals of low reactivity, they found a sulfide ore, roasting, the process of roasting happens, it gives a metal and it is sulfide. First one, extraction of metals low in the activity series. Metals which are low in the activity series can be reduced to the metals by heating in the presence of oxygen, that is roasting. Example, mercury is obtained from its own cinnabar, HGS, by heating in the presence of oxygen. When it is heated in the presence of oxygen, it is first converted into mercuric oxide, HGO, and on further heating, it is reduced to mercury. Equation is 2 HGS plus 3O2 heat, it becomes 2 HGO plus 2O2. Again heating, 2 HGO heat is 2 Hg plus O2. Copper is obtained from its sulfide or CuS by heating in the presence of oxygen. Equation is 2 CuS plus 3 O2 gives 2 CuO plus 2 SO2. Again heating 2 Cu 2 O Cu2 S gives 6 Cu plus SO2. Extraction of metals in the middle of the activity series. Metals in the middle of the activity series like zinc, iron, lead are found as oxide, sulfide or carbonate ore. It is easier to obtain metals from their oxides than from their sulfides or carbonate. So non-oxide ores are converted into oxide form before reduction. 
non-oxide oils can be converted into oxides uh, formed by roasting or calcination. We discussed it that flow chart. Now see what is roasting. It is heating of an hour in the presence of oxygen. It is used to convert sulfide oils into oxide form. Example: 2 ZnS plus CO2 heat. 2 ZnO plus 2 SO2. Whereas calcination is heating up an hour in the absence of oxygen. Roasting is in the presence of oxygen, whereas calcination is in the absence of oxygen. It is used to convert sulfide oils into oxide form. Better, it is in the presence of limited oxygen. We can say. Example: ZnCO3 gives heat gives ZnO plus CO2. The oxide or is then reduced to the metal by heating with a reducing agent. The most common reducing agent is cork in the form of carbon. Is it an O plus C? Is it an plus C? Thermic reactions. Sometimes reactive metals like sodium, calcium, aluminum, etc. are used as reducing agents to obtain metals from their oxides. Example. 3 MnO2 manganese dioxide plus 4 Al aluminium gives Mn manganese plus 3 Al2O3 aluminium oxide plus heat. The reaction between metal oxides and aluminium is highly exothermic heat evolving and the metals are obtained in molten state. Such reactions are called thermic reactions. The reaction between iron oxide and aluminium produces molten iron. This reaction is used to join rail tracks, broken machine parts, etc. Fe2O3 plus 2Al gives Al2O3 plus 2Fe plus heat. It is also exothermic reaction. Image of thermic reaction. Extraction of metals at the top of the activity series. Metals at the top of the activity series like potassium, sodium, calcium, aluminium, etc. cannot be obtained from their house by simply heating or by heating with reducing agents. They are obtained by electrolytic reduction of their molten chlorides. Example, when electric current is passed through molten sodium chloride NaCl, sodium metal is deposited at the cathode and the chlorine gas is deposited at the anode. Refining of metals, the removal of impurities from the metal to obtain the pure metal is called the refining of metals. The most common method for refining of metals is electrolytic refining. In this method, a, blo a block of the impure metal is made the anode and the thin sheet of the pure metal is seen in the cathode. The electrolyte is a salt solution of the metal to be purified. Example, is the electrolytic refining of copper. Corrosion. Corrosion is a damage caused to metals due to the reaction of metals with oxygen, moisture, carbon dioxide, etc. Formation of brown coating of rust over iron, formation of green coating of basic copper carbonate over copper, and formation of black coating of silver sulfate over silver are some of the examples for corrosion. Prevention of corrosion. Corrosion of metals can be prevented by applying oil or grease, applying paint by galvanization, coating a layer of zinc over metals, by thinning, coating with tin, by electroplating, coating a less reactive metal like chromium, by alloying making alloys. Alloy. An alloy is a homogeneous mixture of a metal with other metals or non-metals. Examples are steel, iron and carbon are there. Stainless steel, iron, carbon, cobalt and nickel are there. Brass, copper and zinc, bronze, copper and tin. Solder, lead and tin used in welding electrical wires together. If all of the metals in an alloy is mercury, it is called an amalgam. Anodizing is a process of forming a thick oxide layer of aluminium. Aluminium develops a thin oxide layer when exposed to air. This aluminium oxide core makes it resistant to further corrosion. The resistance 
can be improved further by making the oxide layer thicker. During anodizing, a clean aluminum article is made with the anode and is electrolyzed with the dilute sulfuric acid. The oxygen gas evolved and the anode react with the aluminum to make a thicker protective oxide layer. This oxide layer can be dyed easily to give aluminum articles an attractive finish. Thank you all.